wife, my wife, and this is our sunny boy, Snakey Land. And let's eat and try this amazing and interesting food that we never tried. Oh. You want mashi mashi? Mm -hmm. Take some. Mm. Yeah, the patty, I left it without uh, anything, just a little bit of salt because I want to try very simple. This is the bigger well, patty, the hamburger. Her, um, tell them what they, uh, what it actually is. They know. It's camo. Camo, camo. Yeah, so this is, is just um, meat. I can have both. I like both. So I want to try, we want to try it as a simple dish and then we're going to eat the patties as I'm usually doing, you know, with a little bit of um, no salt seasoning and onion and... Okay. One. Ariel? <laughs> All right, let's try. Wait a second. Yeah, let's try it. Here, I'll give you this. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, two one. one. Mm. Mm. What do you think? A bit of salt. I wouldn't it's know. It tastes really good. Wouldn't know that it's not beef. Truly. Well. Well, I would know it would taste a little bit different, but I would think it would be maybe um, a species of like bison or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like an old friend of cow. Bison. Oh, yeah, it tastes like beef. Hmm? He's right about bison. Not so beef. Beef has a little bit different. Yeah, it's more like bison. It's good. It's good. It's interesting and good and uh, what not. Mm. Yeah. Green peas. Mashed potatoes were my special request before I get none. No. But mashed potatoes is not my forte. Really? No. Nope. There you go. And on keto, it's not allowed. Mm. 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 Oh yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Because that's my kick. Oh, it's my kick too, but today I wanted Tabasco. I'm good. <laughs> and mo bo both of them don't add sugar to the mix and a lot of the... Be very, very much aware that a lot of um, spicy sauces add sugar. Those two are not. Choo-choo! Choo-choo. Hallelujah. Mmm. Hmm. Every time I'm amazed, amazed how simple cabbage tastes stir fried. It's good. And it's um, maintains its texture. Mm -hmm. It doesn't become. The meatball, I totally would have thought it would be. I know because I've added the, the regular. Um, Spices to it, mm -hmm. a little bit of onion and um, and a not salt, not salt seasoning, a little bit of chili, salt, pepper, and that's pretty much it. Mm. And because the cabbage is so dense, right? So mm -hmm. when you cook, it's it's still nice, very nice texture. Mm. What, what would you like, honey? Oh, salt. and a bit crisp, mm -hmm. which is nice. Ariel doesn't like uh, cabbage, but he likes uh, green beans, I think. Or you like cabbage? You got some cabbage inside. Yeah, I did. Did you like the cabbage? cabbage? Mm -hmm. You like this uh, way of uh, cooking cabbage? Mm -hmm. Usually he never was uh, big on cabbage, but you know what? When you do it right, I just um, stir fried it with uh, a little bit of... <laughs> it's basically like four ingredients. Garlic, soy sauce, 
cabbage and green beans. That's it. And ta ta. Mm -hmm. You have some kind of recipe. Mm-hmm. Let's put some oil. Well. Avocado oil. Thank you for the mushy. Yeah, she really wanted it. As well. If you're making meat patties. Take fire smashed potatoes. So why? Why? When you were sick, it's always after you were sick, it's always what your parents made. Tell the story. It's your story. No, but you tell it's okay. She always when she was sick, I remember her mom or after after she get you know got better she always got um the mashed potatoes and patches didn't you no I you know what's missing mm. well I would get a um pickle <gasps> you ask for pickle and i totally forgot for pickles do you want me to bring the pickles not yeah. sick <laughs> no but i know where mm -hmm. but and also i don't think we have any Yes, we do. I ate them. Try the Joe's. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then we do. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. And Damn, then... Um, Can I have a little bit of salt, please? Sure. And then also, like some toasted bread. Like dry. Toasted bread. Toasted bread. I have to eat dry bread. Yeah. Go figure. No, I ate the... But that's only when I was sick, you know, it's kind of... It, it was very traditional matzo ball soup. A lot of times mm. when I was Ooh. sick. You know what? I don't remember anyone ever making me matzo ball. That was the soup. I just don't remember the matzo. You did, but... That's a different story. Mm -hmm. Okay, story time. Because in the USSR, or Ukraine, I was part of Ukraine, but it was still USSR. It was such an... Uh, you know, against anything that Jewish represented or religion represented for this matter. You, my grandmother could buy matzah only one time a year that they brought to some synagogue or type of synagogue that someone opens and, and she bought it for a whole year. So those, you know, matzah balls was, uh, as a child, it was something like relished and um, eaten extremely rarely. The so, price of gold. Mm -hmm. Underground matzo. Mm -hmm. So when the child was, when I was like sick or something, this is one of the things that my grandmother wanted to treat me, and she made matzo ball soup. That's what it was. There you go. More beans. A little too much. Take what you want. There. And trust me, I never got matzo balls just after I was, um, you know, after cold or something. What? Yeah, it was like more, when it was like more, more seriously sick. That sucks. I know. I, I got the soup, but I never got that. Or when it's, on, or when she ran out of them. That's obvious. Well. Yeah, her childhood was sad. But on the other hand, Arya, Arya when he's sick, what he love to eat? Mm. Matzo ball soup? Yeah. Da. 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 Not da. 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 Mm -hmm. Not the Russian da, yes, it's da. Mm -hmm. But, on the other hand, when we were kids, we could eat black caviar by teaspoons. Sure. With the coffee. Mm. No coffee. It was perfect without. Mm-hmm. With coffee. Mm. And teaspoon of caviar. Mm. The best combination ever. Yeah. No. No. Really, I don't think he ever tried the true caviar. And I'm not sure he will. Well. There is a sustainable one we can actually buy from the farm. I think it's on Sunshine Coast. Mm -hmm. 
so far close, but I don't know how much it costs. Two million dollars. Well, it's already it feels like it. It's so crazy expensive. It's like mm. someone wants it. No, a... no, we had. A, a, do you want more? Unless you want to. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Can share. I can share. Yeah. So it's, it's like so expensive. Like every time I find, I remember. Oh yeah, the black caviar. And I go on the side and I look and I'm like, oh, oh. It makes me faint. Oh no. I And whenever you buy them, grocery store is not the same. No. It's a fake. I bought it once. We didn't realize how bad it's gonna be. Remember? I know. I know. It's like all colored and it just no. 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 It's a fake one. Mm -hmm. I want to try it. Yeah. Actually, when Ariel was really little, he liked the um, the red caviar. You would call it um, fish balls. Yeah. Well, they are. Red balls. Red balls, yeah. Well, they are. They're little fishy balls. But, um, yeah. Then you didn't like it so well, much. Well, fish juice. Then you kind of didn't want to eat it anymore. I don't know. No. But personally, my personal preference is to the black one. Yes, definitely. And don't we... We had to had as a children children. Yes, some had a lot. But it was not as I had a lot. Was never my yeah, but it's never never to the point like black. Caviar are considered as a health food for yeah, child. Yeah. For children that are, you know. That was our health that was our fish oil that everybody get now. Mm-hmm. It was actually our fish oil, I think. Yeah, I, I never got actually fish oil no. in the teaspoon on the spoons. Mm -mm. And you know why? Because my parents were always uh, Mortified by telling how they, when they were children, and they were forced to drink that, drink uh, that fish, fish oil by, by spoons. It wasn't in the nice capsules like these days, it was in a spoon. And they were like mortified. My mom was like beside herself, so that never got to me. <laughs> but the caviar was like her health, that's how we're building our health. Mm -hmm. Safe in a tasty way, why not? I know. Well, do you guys... Honey, I need to build my health. I need the caviar <laughs> right now. Actually, actually, I was a very sick kid, like extremely sick kid. I mean, sick kid. So I got a lot of unnecessary treatments. And it's not because she wanted the the soup, no, the matzo ball soup, no, with no, the matzo ball. Oh no. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I'm joking. No. No, she was special. Mind you, I don't think there is any USSR child that was considered healthy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but no, I'm I was sick. Special. I was considered sick too, but in reality, no. How did she few never here and there, but she never got sick. Like no, no, as a kid, yeah, you know, I did. But not at all. Oh, chicken pox. No. Somehow in um. USSR in Russia and our like moms and like, grandmother always consider that all the kids somehow a little bit sickish because they you know get sick a lot but to build their immunity which is normal. But, but that's kind of part of the deal you know. It's like when Aga was rarely sick but then he, he stepped his foot in kindergarten and then oh. that's it that was horrible was horrible. No but I was legit. No you no she was legit sick. I was legit very sick kid and um and sometimes I'm, I'm telling her horror stories about my treatments and she told me that probably my treatments I had to have better health to go through the treatments than the <laughs> problems that I had yeah yeah yeah, sure. yeah well we all had, had weird treatments but um, yeah looking back it's like hmm. I know I think that it needs to be another absolutely separate mukbang okay. or or for, for, for the treatment that we got that considered to be healthy and that we need to do yeah, it's funny. And if I yeah, if I will ever find the photos of those treatments, it's hysterical. But it's look, looking like you know 1800s. But yeah, still we still got it. Yeah, but I don't know if it's to eat and talk about that. It's kind of. I think it could be extreme. Yeah, it could be funny. Yeah, could I, think be funny. I think let's sure. just end it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll talk about it some other time. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so very much for being with us. 
<laughs> Thank you guys. Subscribe, <laughs> right? <laughs> Write us a comment, thumbs up us and cheers, love and life. And remember, go towards your joy and, and do, do something, something fun every, every day. day. And we'll see you next time. Bye! And try something new. Yes, exciting new foods. Actually, so it's, it was uh, exciting and amazing and um, actually, I like totally and I know we talk about everything else, but actually I totally love actually, really I love the flavor and I love the texture and uh, again, it's, it's it feels too. like more wild gamey. Can I say something um, true? Mm -hmm. I, th I like the patty better than the meatballs. Obvious, ah, the patty within the meatball mm -hmm. because it's more... Um, I, I like the flavor. Concentrate the flavor. 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 No, I like the flavor of the meat itself and then all the spices here just ruin it. They take over the... They take over it. Mm, and make it just taste like a regular But I wanted to taste it as, as something that I usually do. And I wanted to do it. So yeah, next time you will eat it as it is. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you so very much and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.